Hello, welcome to the Daily Bible Podcast. My name is William Hemsworth, and thank you so much for joining me for today's show. Well, today we are continuing on in Matthew chapter 20. We'll finish this chapter out tomorrow, so we're moving right along. Well, and also, if you tune, try to tune into the show earlier this morning, you may have found a very brief episode that had just music and nothing, nothing about me talking on there. That's because after doing my sound check and everything working right, after I went live, the mic stopped working. So I tried to delete it, but it may be floating around, well, especially on YouTube, because that's probably the only place where that may be, but I'll, I'm going to delete that here shortly. Anyway, Matthew chapter 20, verses 29 through 30 say, As Jesus and his disciples were leaving Jericho, a large crowd followed him. Two blind men were sitting by the roadside, and when they heard that Jesus was going by, they shouted, Lord, Son of David, have mercy on us. This is very interesting because this miracle here is actually the last miracle of Jesus' earthly life before he finishes his journey into Jerusalem for his passion. So that's very significant there. And this also parallels an account in Mark uh, chapter 10. But in Mark's account, there's only one blind man. Some people see these, this as an example of the Gospels contradicting themselves. Let's be clear. This is no contradiction. Matthew's account has two blind men. Mark's account actually names one of the blind men, and it's Bartimaeus. Um, Mark, it's very simple. Bartimaeus stuck stuck out to Mark, probably because he's the one that was saying, Lord, have mercy on us. There's really no contradiction. It doesn't mean there wasn't two there. It just means that Mark is singling out one of them. So no contradiction there. Also an important point. And here they're, they're, they're near Jericho. So they're leaving Jericho. Jericho was a city east of Jerusalem. And it was... The Jericho during Jesus' time was very near the one mentioned in the Old Testament. You know, the, the one that was destroyed after the Israelites circled seven times, blowing trumpets, all that good stuff. So from this point on, after this miracle, Jesus is on his way for his final his final journey, if you will, into Jerusalem, like I said, for his passion. Now what the blind men ask Jesus will say to Jesus is very telling. Lord, Son of David, have mercy on us. This is important because in those times if he had an affliction such as blindness, uh, very often people thought it was because you had some kind of sin or because your parents sinned and because of that you were unclean and they didn't want to be near you. So these men are asking for mercy. Likewise, you and I, all of us, we ask the Lord for mercy as well because of our spiritual blindness that only He can illuminate. Only He can heal. So have we truly asked Jesus to have mercy so we could see the light that only He can give? Thank you for joining me on this episode of the Daily Bible Podcast. And like I said, tomorrow we will finish Matthew chapter 20. God bless you. Please visit my website at williamhemsworth.com when you get the opportunity to do so. God bless you. Take care.